the one sign table. In this video, I'll make use of this box full of cubes to help us represent the one sign table and we'll look at some tricks to help you remember it. So I've got this box and if I put my hand once to get one of these cubes, I'll end up with one cube. So one times one equals one. If I put my hand in ones and get two items, I'll end up with two items in total. If I do this ones and get three items, I'll get three as the answer. One times four gives us four. One times five gives us five. 1 times 6 gives us 6, so if I go 1 time to the shop and get 7 items, I'll bring home 7 items. If I go once and get 8 items, I'll bring home 8. So 1 times 9 gives us 9, 1 times 10 gives us 10, 1 times 11 gives us 11, 1 times 12 equals 12. So 1 times a number is equal to the number itself. So I can do... 1 times 25, for example, and it's going to give me 25. 1 times 72, and it's going to give me 72. One thing to notice as well is that I might go two times to the shop and get one item each, and I'm going to end up with two items as well. So I might go three times to the shop and get one item each, each time so I'm gonna bring home three items go four times to the shop get one item each time I'm gonna bring home four items so the order is not really important so I could do 25 times 1 and it's still gonna give me 25 72 times 1 and it's gonna give me 72 Another way to look at this is that 1 times 3 is equal to 3, so 1 row of 3 is equal to 3, which is the same as 1 column of 3, which gives us 3 again. So if we look at this visual pattern of the 1's timetable, from 1 we add another 1 to get to the second 1, to 2. So we add 1 again to make it three and another one to make it four so we add in the one each time it's the one time table we add in one each time so we'll add one here as well so one times six is six if i add another one that's going to give me seven which is one times seven or seven times one so you can see that it's the same throughout this so to summarise now, one number multiplied by one is the number itself. So the answer will be the number itself. Now that we've gone through all of these, I'd like you to write in a post-it or a piece of paper all of these multiplication facts and go through them in order, at least three times, but maybe more, until you are confident that you know them all.